G'day, this is Simon at South OC Cars and Coffee. I'm with Bob, who has one of the most unusual car of the week, or I'm going to call it what it is, Ute of the Week. What is it, Bob? It's a 1973 Volvo 1800 ET. ET. That means it's no longer a station wagon, it's, it's a Ute. You'll figure that out in a minute. Check this out. Yep. Bob, as you rolled in, I saw the front of this and thought, oh yeah, P1800, really great car. Of course, the coupe version was made famous by the British show The Saint, which was Roger Moore, and that really put Volvo on the map. Kind of like, I guess, the Bond cars did for Aston Martin. That's kind of what made the Volvo exactly. popular. But you pulled in, and as you're driving past me, I thought, hang on a minute, something's a little different on this car. And that little different was the fact that this is a pickup, or as I say in Australia, because it's unibodied, a ute. Tell me the story. Now, you didn't build this, but you uh, bought it from the family of the man who did, correct? That's right. Uh the gentleman who, who built it uh, passed away last year, and I, I bought it from the family. It's, uh, he started work on it in 1986, gathering up the parts. Uh, really didn't complete it entirely. There's still some interior parts that need done. But uh, he was working up until he passed away at 95. Wow! Yeah. Uh, he had a 10-year break while he was uh, restoring a 38 Cadillac. After the Cadillac, he got back on this, and uh, here's a one of a kind. And you've sort of taken it over and, and you know, uh, uh, finished it. Now, let's talk about some of the special things. First of all, obviously, it's not a station wagon anymore. It's a pickup, and what did he use for the tray? You said a Subaru? It's a Subaru Brat pickup bed. Yeah, which yeah. Which, which is perfect. And then he, uh, the, the back is obviously still one piece across there, so it doesn't have a drop tailgate model, so you've got to lift things into it, which is no big deal because it's not very high. I put the spare tire in the back here yesterday. Yeah. It was pretty heavy, and you got to go up. L lifting it up and over. Yeah. Let's talk about that rear bumper, because that's special too. It is. Uh, in the early 60s, they had uh, the P1800, uh, from 61, I guess, to 64, they used these bumpers. But it was so these. But this is yeah. Go on. Yeah, sorry. This bullhorn bumper was only made for the front of those early cars, but uh, Bud uh, designed one here to fit in the back because it is just so beautiful. Oh, it just it just finishes it off. And one of the beautiful things is with that piece across the back that's so visible there, it would look plain if it didn't have that bullhorn bumper sweeping up and you know, creating some space there. Indeed, yeah. Oh, the, I mean, the side of it is, I mean, everything about it, it looks like it could have come from the factory exactly. this way. Let's talk about the chrome piece, because that's beautiful as well, this, this beautiful chrome piece yeah. along here. Well, this piece right here came from the 73 ES wagon. Yeah, and, interesting. And when you start here, this came from the early 60s Jensen. They're very difficult to find. Wow, so that's not even a Volvo piece. This no, is it's, a, it's a Volvo, early, oh. early Volvo Jensen. Oh, I didn't know they do a Volvo Jensen. Jensen. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so that chrome trim, the bumpers, and this grill right here were all from the early 60s Volvo. That's, he made them to fit on this. That's really interesting. Actually, even the color. The color is actually really in vogue at the moment. That sort of almost primer gray. So it's an unusual color to see uh, a car of this era painted. It looks great. It he, just really suits it. He really did. It, it re he really picked the, re the best color, I think, of this car. And there's that other bumper on the front once again, you know, from that earlier mm -hmm. Volvo designed to fit on there. Uh, this thing's cool. I think it's cool from two perspectives. It's really unusual. Obviously, it's a one of a kind. There's one of a kind. Not, not another one on the road. But what I also think is great is the fact that you um, you took this car over and you see yourself as the person who's got to finish it off. You're the caretaker now. You're the person who has to. Well, that is the, that is the deal. I am the caretaker for the car. I told the family I'm not going to be selling it for a long time. Yep. I, I, I'm not a flipper in that regard when you have a car that's as important as this. Yeah, I think there's the history and everything behind the cars and is Bud, critical. Uh, Bud was a good friend of mine and I, I want to get the word out. At 95, he didn't get a chance to drive it very much. No, I, I guess not. You know, it's for him it would have been like, I mean, just working on it would have, it must have been at 95, a labor of love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just great. Well, thank you so much for bringing it out. As our car of the week, you get this Meguiar's complete kit, including the polishing sponge, cleaner wax, scratch remover, car wash, glass cleaner, interior detailer, hot shine foam. Keep this magnificent one of one Volvo pickup, ute, whatever you want to call it, in this pristine condition. Congratulations and thank you so much for bringing it out.